and dependable leader. A strong advocate on anti-terrorism bill, vice chairperson, House Committee of Tourism. Chairperson, House Committee on Disaster Management. Help me welcome, with an echoing round of applause, for sitting on Lucy Marie Torres Gomez. Papa, on his shoulders, rest the 
Guard had to one the Herculean task of fixing one of the most complicated business areas in any city. So let us not say na hindi na sa Ormong Gubot ang marketplace. Everywhere, it is the place where um, it is the art of the possible. Muna di ang Lutado. So kung di mo nota, di mo sundun, pwede yun na muna ko ang problema. So dito tami, good luck and God bless. We are with you as you um, enforce all that you must do. And I always tell him, Tito, never mind. Because when people see that it is the same law that is applied to all, they will follow. So to all the business owners here today, I already applaud you. For you will not be here if you are not in good standing and are compliant with all the laws and ordinances of our law city. So I would also like to mention, and in a way, to prove my point, that each business, big and small, makes up the whole city's economy. And let me say that it warmed my heart to see how all of you have come together in support of our Chant Today celebrations. It's only once that Armok celebrates her 75th birthday. And let me express that we appreciate and value every donation contributed to make our celebrations a success. I say celebrations because it's been ongoing daily since October 1. Hangus hangus na kita ang internet as you, but ang importante malipay ng mga tao. So it's wonderful, no? The Bayanihan spirit is well and alive. There was no amount that was too big or too small because all, and even all the MS and the SMMEs have pitched in, no? They have shown their force with donations ranging from 1,000 to 5,000. And when we put that all together, that will result also to the million. So there really is no help that is too big or too small. As much as these monetary donations mean a lot to our project, I appreciate much more the voluntary show of support. Because I always say June, just send out the letter once and do not follow up anymore. I hope you don't know what you can do. Follow up, you can take it to your boss. But at the end, you can take the letter, no more now. And, but the show of support has been voluntary and overwhelming and constant, especially as the days go by. And no, I do not say this because I may sound like I am soliciting for more donations. I am not. Because, because the window to accept donations have already ended. I know you set a deadline. So, whenever the deadline is not now. So, uh, I just wanted to recognize and celebrate the spirit of Bayanihan because this is what communities are made of, really, when, when all players come together. And when all come together, importante you are there to, to help. So as your local chief executive, your mayor, I want nothing more for all our Mokano businesses than to see you thrive. Why do you think we bring all these activities? This is our way of helping all the businesses because the more people we bring in the city, it is the businesses that thrive. Mangita ang ginagkananan, mangita ang And even in the district, as you bring people through our events, through conventions, uh, when they come here, because this is what uh, the Department of Tourism said, our strength as a city and as a district is that we are not top of mind in terms of tourist destinations. But people come here for conventions, and when they're here, mga laagan, kaya na sila, maski asa na mas mong solo, yung anong ormong, they go to the neighboring town. So, people coming to the city is good business. And like I said, I want nothing more than for all businesses to thrive. Like Mayor Richard before me, I aim to build a city that is steeping in promise and potential, where opportunities are abundant, and support, interventions, and initiatives for businesses are so overwhelming that success is always just a slow straw away. I want your local government to be responsive to local and international cues, such that we could all promptly adjust and pivot our businesses accordingly. If there is one thing that I have learned in life, 
it is that adversity, through the bad and the ugly days. Adversity makes us stronger and brings us closer together. I have seen this happen during Yolanda, the earthquake, and now most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. If the COVID-19 virus made our human body suffer so much, the virus also hit the business community in a different but equally punishing way. So tonight, I want to honor our businesses, most especially the small businesses, who, like warriors, have survived and transformed them themselves to weather through the challenges of the pandemic. Many of you survived, and some of you even had the courage to open businesses during the pandemic. Some of you have even taken the route of innovation in turning the tide in your favor. And to all of you, I salute you. Tonight is a beautiful night. As I go through the list of the Pac Ormoc Consumers Choice Awards winners, a stream of excitement overcame me because when we were um, conceptualizing this and when we were planning this, we wanted it to be really um, like a black canvas with not give prompts, except to say what is the best best sandwich, best party going on at that, but we did not say choose from this, we did not give it any list. And the names that were submitted, those were the ones that were tallied, and the ones that had the most hits will be the winners tonight. So I know we are all excited to hear who the winners are, and for us tomorrow in the LGU, because we always um, have lunch together in the office, it's always a working lunch, I know that on top of all the decisions we have to make tomorrow, uh, one of the biggest decisions will be which of the food winners to try first for lunch and for yeah, now on the way to dinner. So in advance, congratulations to all the winners. I am ever so proud of all of you and ever so fortunate to experience your businesses here in our beautiful city of Ormoc. And like I always said, always teach us the best is yet to come. Thank you.